All right, people, this is Newfoundland and Labrador. Welcome back and welcome to part two of this itinerary for Newfoundland and Labrador. We arrived this morning in Blanc Sablon, which is actually in Quebec. But whilst you're here, check out the Braidor Bay and the Braidor Falls. I hope I'm pronouncing those right. They are both unbelievable. The falls are stunning. Next up, we are crossing back over into the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, and we will be heading up the coast. There's a lot more to show you in part two of this itinerary. we kick things off today with a huge hearty breakfast at the Whalers restaurant where we also stayed in a lovely little cabin thankfully two rooms so I don't have to listen to Dave snore and now we'll be exploring Red Bay a national historic site and a UNESCO World Heritage Site famous for its whaling and all of the historic artifacts they found here from the 1500s one of the things you can do is take a boat tour over to Saddle Island which is where we are right now Before we head out whale watching later today we decided to do one particular trail called Tracy Hill which we're on now which has amazing views over Red Bay. You can also head down to the shore, the locals call it Boney Shore. Next up we are heading out looking for whales with Whaler's Quest, we're heading out of Red Bay. We've waited till this evening because the wind has died down so it's easy to spot the whales and they come out to play a bit more, who knew? Fingers crossed, cross everything for us that we see whales. How are you feeling about our hopes Dave? Not very good, but fingers crossed. I feel like they're managing our expectations. There's not been too many sightings in the area recently. They do come right into the bay as I was explaining earlier. So yeah, let's go, come on, come on. We have just returned and sadly this is the only whale that we have seen today. We did not see any whales on this trip and it's unfortunate because the Belle, the Belle Isle Strait actually has loads of whales passing through. They've seen humpback whales, killer whales and all sorts and that's where you see iceberg. That's actually Iceberg Alley but it's summer now so you won't see any of those. So hopefully I'll be able to cut to a few shots of whales provided to me by the tour themselves. Our next and final stop in Labrador is this, the Point Amour Lighthouse, the tallest in Atlantic Canada and you can climb the 132 steps to the top. You can often see whales and icebergs passing by but as you saw from yesterday, sadly there are not too many in the strait right now. Right, right off of the ferry we have driven to a town called Rayleigh or a village, a little fishing village called Rayleigh and we are now at the Burnt Cape Ecological Reserve which you can drive around or at least I hope you can drive around. It's a really cool landscape here, well worth a stop. This morning we are well and truly stepping onto the Viking Trail. We have come to Lance O'Meadows, which is right behind me now. One of the most important historical sites in North America and the only proving Viking settlement, actually proven Viking settlement that they found here from the Norse people hundreds of years ago, changing the way that we understood human history and human movement around the world. There are some reenactments and rebuilt huts just down there, which we're gonna go check out now. Right, a quick shout out to two fantastic restaurants. The first we are passing right now 
called the Daily Catch. Amazing seafood in there. And we actually ate at the Nymph Cafe, part of the Dark Tickle company. Dark Tickle is a famous local jam, which I've actually had in the UK and it is unbelievable. They both do boat tours and the Daily Catch owner also has Viking rooms. So yeah, lots to do in this area. We are now heading on a bit of a monster drive down to Benoit Cove, heading all the way south around a five or six hour drive. We just had a lovely dinner here at Saltbox, fish and chips. Again, blackened cod, delicious. And now we're gonna have a screech in and become an honorary New Newfoundlander. I have no idea what it means or what happens, but let's go. How you getting on me old cock? How you getting on me old cock? All right, all right, all right. We'll show you two dog comes where you at. We'll show you two dog comes where you at. Okay. Me and my brother is on a dog. Do you have a dog? Oh, no, me and my brother is on a dog. Do you have a brother on a dog? No, me and my brother is on a dog. Me and his brother is on a dog. Okay. I throw the kids over around some candy. Come on, the kids going around some candy. Okay. May your long big jib draw. Be long dip, big drop. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. Hello, Dolly. Come on in here now. Right, big old now, kiss. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then wash it down with a big old. All right. Model, wash the screech here, my son. All right, by the power of the Newfoundland Premier, Department of Fisheries and Oceans, and myself, Captain Ned, I now pronounce as you an honorary Newfoundlander. Congratulations. That's it. Welcome Ooh. in. Yes. You're in. All right. Congratulations. Fantastic. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Wrapping up the Newfoundland and Labrador leg in style, heading out on a rib boat with Ever Outdoor in the Bay of Islands, and we have already seen eagles. It is beautiful here. Well, that boat trip was unbelievable. We saw two eagles, a female and a juvenile. Thanks again to Ever Outdoor and Glenn for taking us out. Another thing that you can do if you don't get out on the water is head to Blow Me Down Provincial Park. Tons of hiking around there. And we have just enough time to check out Glen Mill Pond here in Cornerbrook, a fitting place to end this video and this adventure in Newfoundland and Labrador. Next, we're heading to Prince Edward Island. So look out for that video. Other than that though, please drop any comments, any thoughts, any mispronunciations, any other things to do in this area in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Don't forget to subscribe. You can turn on the notifications if you want. But other than that, thanks for watching and happy travels.